OpenJDK, and it uses Alpine. It installs a bunch of stuff. So it's a relatively thick image. Um, OpenJDK. Exposes a couple of ports. And it uses Alpine. And wrap, wrap some tarballs. I haven't seen this easy ad. We'll have to look at what this is. What is that? Yeah. Our, our internet was lagging pretty bad here trying to get my son on trying to set him up on a on the laptop now but This is the Java edition, uh, Simus. Hopefully I said that right. Um, there is a better, I think this, actually, I, th I think the same same user um, has a Bedrock server. And so, yep, he does. You can go get the, the if you have the Bedrock edition, you can use that. Um, it's very, it's very similar. Um, for those of at home, uh, Minecraft has two flavors. It has the sort of the legacy, the original version, which is written in Java, and then it has a native Windows 10 version, which folks call Bedrock. Um, or I guess, I don't know if it, Microsoft calls it Bedrock or if the community calls it Bedrock. But anyway, um, we're using the, the Java version. Um, but you can run either, and both of these would work, and you could send them both to ACI be fine um, if we go back to docker ps oops that's because so nothing's running in default um, but I'm not using default I want to use docker context use ACI and it's still running in ACI um, so you can if you're interested, folks, you can you can go join this this uh, Minecraft server, and uh, you know we'll we'll probably we'll probably hang out there for a little bit after chat. If folks want to come try to find us. Um, let's see if anybody's joined. Uh, yeah, so let's see. It doesn't look like it. Not yet. I'm gonna um, I'll put the IP in here. See if cool. it, see if it yells at me. It definitely. It's, I know that that a lot of the chats, um, so like YouTube chat and Twitch chat, they're they're. Um, oh, that'll work. Uh, at least I saw that. Um, yeah. They're hesitant about like IP addresses, and even sometimes you can turn off URLs so that folks can't spam your 
chat with URLs. Um, but yeah, so up and running. Let's see if I can get this little laptop connected. Downloading later. Uh, so, yeah, of course. That's just like the story of everyone's life is downloading latest. Yeah. <laughs> Always show up early to your Minecraft gaming sessions so you can download the latest. <laughs> same thing for Zoom. Same thing for any of the other flavors. Yeah, I'm worried. I'm worried to start on my machine here because uh, having the central location where we're streaming, it'll. I think it'll kill our stream. So. Oh yeah, it probably will. It probably will. I have a, I have a, a pretty monster desktop. So, and I'm not the host, so I'm I'm not too worried about it. But yeah. Um, so chat, I think this is this is really kind of it for the the sort of the Docker side of this. Now we're now we're just chatting and having a good time. So, um, if folks if folks have any questions, or it doesn't even have to be about Minecraft. It could be about anything uh, Docker related or otherwise. Uh, drop it in chat, and we'll. We will uh, will happily do our best to answer it. Um, we probably will leave the server up for a for a an hour or so, and uh, you know, play around, hang out. You know, folks can join us and find us. Uh, does the Java edition use TCP? Um, I believe it does. Uh, the Bedrock version only uses UDP and. And Kubernetes got angry with that. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, so I know that the author, um, and the author yeah, clearly is a super cool community. I haven't never met, I haven't tried with him or met with him, um, has some Kubernetes instructions. So there might be some, some tweaks he might recommend if you're going to try to host it. Um, yeah, I, I, I haven't had any problems, but... It, but Locally, actually, yes, because locally it is you. I'm exposing the TCP port on my local, uh, and that's how it's working. So it's it's must be TCP locally, um, and it just works. That's the other thing that's kind of nice about the managed services that are integrated. So they look at the Docker Run or they look at Compose and they see what you're exposing and they just know what to do with that. So like, you don't have to know all the tweaks and 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 all of the different command line parameters or potentially ACI has its own uh, configuration file format. You don't have to know those things. You can just continue to use Compose, which is awesome, or continue to use Docker, and then it'll just take care of the right thing for you, um, which is super nice. Like, get you up and running in the cloud um, and, you know, don't worry about it. Move it over from VPS. Yeah, I think all, what you would do is just, so I know that talking to my friends at Microsoft and the ACI group, like lots of folks run apps in production in ACI. Um, so this is just, a, it's just a Java app. It's really like the, the use case is the same as a lot of business use cases. I have a Java app that people connect to on a, a TCP port, right? So it could be a directory service. It could be anything. This one just happens to be a video game. But, uh, you know, lots of people run there. So I think you just roll the dice and, and look the calculator and see uh, see what it costs to run uh, the ACI instance at the size you need and, and run that to a monthly and see if it if it works for you. Um, and like I said, at the top of the blog post, which we can go back to actually while we're waiting, um, we'll go back to this. At this top of the blog post, if you don't have an Azure um, account, you can use this link. It'll set you up with an Azure account and you'll get $200 of credits uh, in your first month. So you can just basically go nuts trying this out. Um, so. Um, by all means, head out to this blog post, read it. It talks about the only one pit that is um, you need a storage account. It's super easy. You just go to the Azure console. There's a way to do it on the command line. Um, I was going to put it just out for that. Um, you just need the AZ uh, 
AZ is Azure's command line, um, AZ, AZ tool installed, um, and you can create a storage account. Once you create a storage account, you make a file share, and that's really all you have to do. And that's where your persistence will be. Um, so no, no problem. And Guillaume walks you through pretty much everything you need to do in, in great detail. So um, if you have any questions, you can always tweet at uh, Peter or myself, and, and we can help you out. Chad, my, my son is on there. You got the, do you have oh, the logs cool. still running? Yeah, I got the. I can get the logs up. Let's see if he... So let's go get the logs. Yeah, there we go. So join the game. There he is, Shark Brant. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think if if there's no other questions, I'm gonna go back and join this uh, the server, and I'm gonna hang out in the server for a bit. Um, if you have more questions, you can come find us in the server and ask us there. Or you can find us on Twitter. I'm Matt C. And Peter, what's your, uh, your P-McKee. P-McKee. Yeah, I got, I mean, not, not very original. Hey, Matt C is not original <laughs> either. Um, I like Matt C. I can remember it. So there actually is another. So there's another Metcalf. I, I, I saw, yeah. <laughs> There's 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 lots of them as it turns out, and uh, there is a Metcalf somewhere in the world with the first initial uh, C that tries to use my Gmail and Twitter all the time, and they try to log in and use my Gmail and Twitter. It's really, it's actually kind of bizarre, kind of creepy. Um, but <laughs> hey, thanks, Miss. Uh, so we will be back next week, same uh, bat time, same bat channel. So 10 uh, a.m. Pacific Wednesday, and we'll have another topic. Peter, do you know what the topic is for next week? I think I'm going to do the the Node uh, Dockerfile best practices. So we'll kind of excellent. We'll kind so of walk Node, through. I'm going to yeah, excellent. I look forward to learning more about Node. Um, in the meanwhile, uh, go download the new Desktop Edge that just released yesterday. Yes. Uh, sign up for a Hub account, and we will see you next week. Awesome. Thanks, Chad. I'll see you later. Thank you. See you, everybody. Cheers.